Traditionally, living populations in East Africa have a mean serum 25-hydroxy vitamin D concentration of 115 nanomole per liter. What are the sunlight benefits? UVA irradiation from the sunlight can drop the blood pressure significantly and increase the arterial function uh, thanks to the nitric oxide derivatives. You can even measure the nitric oxide coming out of your skin with UVA irradiation that is increased in your skin. This increased nitric oxide in our skin with UV radiation could be maximized when we have plant-based diet. Morning sun may help patients with seasonal affective disorder and it could improve the depression in institutionalized patients in nursing homes. Melatonin can help with different cancers and different diseases, but under exposure of sunlight could affect the uh, melatonin in our body decrease the discharging of this valuable hormone at nighttime from pineal gland. Having two hours of sunlight exposure in men and women was associated with a 13% increase in urinary melatonin. Now, what are the downsides of sun exposure? This includes the increased risk of cataract, though it could be avoided by a brim hat and a pair of sunglasses. Another interesting side effect of sun exposure is unilateral dermatoheliosis, which means loss of elasticity and damaged uh, texture of the skin in one side, as you can see in this gentleman who is a truck driver for most of his life. The effects of sun exposure on skin is profound, accounting for 90% of visible skin aging, including the uh, loss of elasticity, sagging, and damaged texture. The combination of smoking and sun exposure could make you look 11 years older. You could get 8 years younger with plastic surgery, but having a healthy lifestyle may be even better. Skin cancer is one of the other side effects of sunlight and UVB. WHO, American Cancer Society, and U.S. Surgeon General, they're all advising against the sunlight. And the recommendations are all understandable because we have 3.5 million new cases of skin cancer and 2,000 deaths. And it's only from non-melanoma skin cancer. UV is also a complete carcinogen, and it could actually damage the DNA and it suppress the anti-tumor immune response. Melanoma of the skin is one of the most aggressive cancer with a very high mortality rate once metastasis. And the high incidence of this cancer has been blamed on tanning salons. Tanning bed and UV rise are considered class 1 carcinogens and it could contribute up to three quarter of uh, melanoma in general population between 18 to 29 years old. Those who reported more than 10 lifetime sessions appeared some six times more likely to be diagnosed with melanoma before 30 years old. Tanning bed lights emit only UVA, which is not producing any vitamin D in our skin or body. And uh, the only way that we could actually increase vitamin D is having UVB in our skin, or just taking vitamin D supplementation. I hope you enjoy this video and if you like this video and find it beneficial, please share it in your social media and uh, to your friend and families. And uh, like always, stay happy and healthy. Thanks and have a great day.